Hey hey everyone, have a hairpin of video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. In this video, we're going to be discussing Saiyan Day 2024. So with that, if you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and dive right in. So this video is going to be like two parts. First, we're going to be discussing like the history or take a little stroll down memory lane from past Saiyan Days. That's going to give you all, if you guys don't remember the past celebrations or at least the major portions of the celebration, uh, it's going to give you some better ideas on what may be coming for 2024. So the second half of this is going to be more speculation on what's to come. Now, of course, we might get a teaser really soon. Uh, for sure, V-Jump is going to give us uh, the, uh, I don't want to say full information, but at least like the card art and things of that nature. So we should expect that sometime in, in the next couple of days. Uh, but of course, 318 is the major an arrival date for Saiyan Day. Now, again, if you guys don't know what Saiyan Day is, it is actually a global JP celebration that really started in 2019. We'll talk a little bit about a couple years before that, but being a worldwide celebration, and uh, again, we generally use worldwide celebration for the September download celebration. That's what it normally was. Now we just call it worldwide celebration September, but this is also a worldwide celebration both Global and JP, and it's going to highlight a new Dokkan Festival exclusive. Uh, so far, we've only been getting TURs. We might get an LR, something of that nature. Of course, we're going to get a new banner unit and some sort of easy A, whether it's a Dokkan Festival exclusive or what's been recently happening is going to be more on the LR side. Uh, that's what we should expect for Saiyan Day as a celebration. Now, when you look back previously, before 2019, uh, the la the two years before it, because the first year of Dokkan in 2016 um, didn't really celebrate Saiyan Day. But in 2017, on 317, one day before Saiyan Day, we ended up getting a Goku and a mass saiyan right time breaker bardock and a bunch of other gokus and bardocks for 317 as part of their celebration now this was jp only on global really didn't have anything happening around that time um and nothing in celebratory for 318 or even 317 but on 318 the following year on 2028 we actually had uh, I, I would say our kind of first celebration for Saiyan Day, especially on the JP version of the game, uh, but we ended up getting not getting a new unit technically. We ended up getting Dokkan Awakenings to Universe 6 characters, also Gokus, especially the UI Goku, which was initially dropped uh, as just an SSR. You could awaken that unit. Imagine that now. You like you get a unit and you have to wait a couple months for you to actually awaken the unit. Kind of a bad idea. I'm glad they don't do that now. But in 2018, the uh, awakening to UI Goku uh, was uh, the celebration. Now again, 2019 and present, we are now getting these new units, banner unit and EZA. So that's kind of what I wanted to at least focus on is now, okay, what are the patterns of past celebrations and what should we expect for the upcoming celebration coming coming up very, very soon here. So first and foremost, in 2019, this was, again, the first time this, um, this type of pattern or this type of celebration is designed as the new Dokkan Festival um, exclusive that's featured here is the Transformation Vegeta, 150% Pure Saiyan's leader. Uh, this unit was very relevant when he dropped and uh, was a considerable leader for quite some time, being that it was 150% across the board versus 130% to attack, um, which the uh, Blue Vegeta was the Dokkan Festival exclusive Blue Vegeta was the original kind of Pure Saiyans leader. And this unit kind of came about and said, okay, it's, it's more of a well-balanced leader skill, right? Then you had a banner unit uh, and you also had EZAs to non like Dokkan Festival exclusive or LRs in Blue Vegeta and uh, Trunks, Future Trunks. So that was a 2019 celebration, kind of expanding it now to kind of today, right? You get to see 2020 was Bardock, which just EZA'd on the JP version of the game. Uh, the 2021 celebration was a Broly celebration, which was actually, you know, a, a fairly decent unit. Unfortunately, 
this was you you saw the problems with extreme class here um just not having enough really strong teams to build from what i think believe it was like planetary destruction was the category that that broly uh provided then you also had uh, in 2022 the majin vegeta and then the easy a to blue vegeta um I thought he was a great unit to start off with. He actually got better when LRGG came out with Gallic Gun, uh, Trunks, and, and Vegeta, and Blue Vegeta. Uh, and of course, last year was God Koo, probably the best unit of Saiyan Day in history. Um, and then you had a Super Saiyan Vegeta, which is kind of low key. He's a great support unit, but I don't, I don't really see too many people use him. And then the Easy A to Beerus. Um, the Beerus EZA was the first time we saw an EZA that was not quote unquote a Saiyan, right? Um, so again, do we, are we running out of Saiyan EZAs? I don't think so. It was for just, it was just a part of Realm of Gods, uh, and they chose down that route. So when we're looking at like this, the entirety here, you can kind of see the patterns or at least somewhat of a pattern of units i'm looking at 2019 till now like i don't count 2017 2018 which was a goku and goku i don't really foresee them doing back-to-back -back gokus right because we have a couple options on choices uh for this upcoming celebration but uh, let's let's see what kind of options do we have here now how i'm gonna look at the options here coming in 2024 is actually looking at easy a lrs like what are the lrs that we can easy a the yellow coin lrs that we can easy a and that are technically sayings again i'm kind of you know walking this back a little bit because we had beerus last year that wasn't a saying but i think they're going to go back to where the sayings are or possibly maybe one saying or non saying on this list here that uh, they can also easy a so what i'm looking at what i'm looking at are these LRs here in particular. So let me actually turn that off. So the Broly is the oldest yellow coin LR that hasn't got easy yet yet. That was a global first. So I think that's gonna be a little bit different uh, and when that's gonna happen is maybe not in the celebration. Now again, I could be absolutely wrong here. The reason why is they already had a brand new movie Broly. Now, of course, it's not the same Broly. And that's not the legendary Super Saiyan Broly, right? It's from the Broly movie. But I, I just, I don't know. I don't see them doing that during Saiyan Day. Um, but they could still possibly easy a that unit. I think more likely we might actually see Jiren as the easy a. Um, that is July 16th, 2020. And then... The remaining other EZA possibilities, you have Turles, you have Vegeta, you have Gohan, even though, again, he's not a pure Saiyan, we, uh, we can still see uh, Gohan be EZA, I think it was in 2020, um, at least the free-to-play one, are options here that could possibly EZA. I'm going to kind of think, okay, the first option is Jiren, right? If they win Jiren... Um, as the EZA, then they're going to be focusing a little bit more on the Tournament of Power. Uh, and I think that is and could be very, very beneficial. Now, if they go down that route, I really think the Dokkan Festival exclusive is is either going to be a blue Goku or blue Vegeta. And, and I've been saying this for quite some time now, is that we technically don't have a viable blue goku or blue vegeta that we can run on really any team at this point in time now of course we have the super saiyan blue kaioken uh easy a that is usable on representative or universe survival saga type of team and then you can kind of maybe look at um the uh you know the og blue vegeta but you know we have evolution vegeta which is amazing we have um the uh, ui goku mui goku which is amazing as the easy a so if they go down that route and just have blue i think this could be uh you know a, a nice benefit to that amazing team that you can build for universal survival saga right so um so they could just do base form ui banner unit either like tournament participants 
Gohan if our, for a representative unit of seven, they might switch it up and say, okay, let's go ahead and do either another banner unit or a different banner unit like Bergamo and then EZA to Jiren, right? They can do something like this for a same day celebration. They can again just do Blue Goku, um, which they can still do Jiren as the EZA, right, for Blue Goku, but maybe like a like a banner Goten and then an EZA to Gohan. Uh, they could go this route as well. But uh, what I'm really thinking, because I kind of mentioned before here, is I don't think they're going to do back-to-back -back Gokus, right? We we've, haven't we've seen that technically since um, 2017 and 2018, which, again, the 2018 unit was an Awakening, not a new unit. So it's been since 2019 of Vegeta, Bardock, um, Broly, Vegeta... God and, and, and Goku, right? So technically, we've only really had one Goku for Sand Day since 2019, which is kind of interesting. Enough that we have two Vegetas. That's also make me now second guess myself because, like, hey, we have more Vegetas than we have anyone else. And what I'm hoping is actually another Vegeta, right? So what I'm actually hoping is this celebration here have a blue Vegeta, maybe a Kaba. Possibly a Gotopo banner unit and then Jiren EZA. I think this will be a nice, nice celebration. Uh, of course, this is on the heels of the EZAs to the MUI Goku and Evolution Vegeta. You know, put them on a different team, more uh, involved in Representative Universe 7, things of that uh, nature. I would love this to be the same day celebration. Uh, on top of that, they could do like a Blue Vegeta and EZA the physical Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. And then I was thinking, uh, the banner unit be the you know the bargain sale Super Saiyan Trunks as an option there as well. But finally, I think one that I think is popularized, I've been seeing it around a lot, it's still in the Vegeta realm, but it would be King Vegeta as the Saiyan Day Dokkan Festival exclusive, which I think deservedly so, right? For Saiyan Day being the king of Saiyans. Um, would make a lot of sense and uh, then have a base form vegeta as a banner unit or even like a kid vegeta as a banner unit and then the easy a to the physical vegeta again all kind of makes sense there now now where would that leave then the uh the other easy a's that i was talking about like jaren and, and and these other ones of course they can do another celebration for universal survivor saga or, or representative of universe 7 and have that Jiren EZA, you know, movie bosses type of things for Turles, and then, um, you know, like another movie type of celebration for the EZA for the Tech Gohan. So they can do all that in the future, but uh, I wouldn't mind this at all. So for me, for my choices, I would prefer this one than this one. So Blue Vegeta. And then a King Vegeta would be those two that I would say uh, I would really, really, really like. Again, I doubt we're going to go Goku again, uh, being just kind of, again, looking at the patterns. But let me know what you guys think, because this is all speculative until we uh, probably you know get all the information from V-Jump or at least maybe a teaser, uh, you know, coming through there. But uh, again, love to hear your specula speculations, what you guys think in the comment section below. And uh, again, if you're new to my channel, uh, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Thank you all for watching. Keep on doconning, and we'll catch you next time. Later.